I'm a mom, a wife, and a crafter. This is my life. Um, hi. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I'm working on. We are currently in my studio. Do you see? Um, oh, see this the painting right there. This is like a unfinished painting that I've been working on that I love. Actually, I started working on it probably a few years ago, but I never like did her um the baskets on their heads. Like I have this idea of like getting some twine and like gluing it on there whatever haven't done it and then you see this painting like right there okay that's a painting that my son wants me to make for him but i hate it i hate the way it's turning out so i uh, it's just been sitting there like looking at me so maybe i'll work on that tonight also i am on crafter i don't know if you've heard of that website but it's amazing my favorite things about it is they have swaps on there basically you just get matched up with a partner and you guys like there's a theme that we all like work under and we craft for our partner my girl said that she likes candles and so i made her some soy wax candles so yes she got some with lavender also she said that she wanted um a book now i don't think that Crafter is a good place to like swap books because it's not really crafting. So I did craft a journal, which kind of like counts as a book. And then she said that one of her favorite quotes is, don't believe everything that you think. Honestly though, I don't really like the way that it turned out. So I'm gonna redo that. Also, I have been, I had this idea of making like a chakra. Okay, sorry, let me see. So you see that right there? That's like my chakra wall hanging and um, I use it like for reference, you know, or at least I use these for reference. I kind of remember all the chakras now, but I had this idea and look at that mess outside the hallway. <laughs> so remember when my studio was in like the big room, I had like a lot of space. Well, I came to this smaller room and I still like it, you know, and, um, but I don't have enough space. So that's why some of my stuff is out in the hallway. <laughs> And um, eventually I will organize it maybe one day. But anyway, I had this idea of making a chakra wall hanging and I like the quilted look. So I did it like that and this is what I came up with. And I also made her a yoga mat holder. This is what it looks like. I still have a couple of things that I want to make. I want to put in there some patchouli incense, maybe a stone or two. That is what I'm working on currently. And yeah, what do you think about my hair? I got it redone. But I'm going to, next time I get my hair done, I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to, I mean, I'm going to take these out and I'm just going to, ooh, this does not look that cute. Whatever. Next time I'm going to just not wear, I'm not going to get, this weave, I'm just gonna wear my afro out, or my little afro. I still have the size shaved. shaved. Yep, and um, yeah, I'm, I still have my size shaved. So I'm just gonna wear my little boxy thing, and hopefully it won't look that bad. And then I'll wear it um, for a month, and then I'll get some extensions again. Honestly, I don't really like the vibe of these, um, of these things, it's like so fake, it's like plasticky, you know? And it feels like, so not authentic, do you know what I mean? And I love to be authentic. But it's serving its purpose. And um, yeah, that's it guys. All right, so I will um, talk to you next time. Very soon, hopefully. Okay, bye. Can I get my old house? I was moving into Georgia. You mean you wanna stay in Georgia? Mm -hmm. Why is that? So I can see you, see you more often. Oh, Zig, that is so sweet. What if, what if your wife wants to move? What I if the mean, person you marry? I won't agree with it. If she wants to move and stay in Georgia, um, that I, I'll agree with that. But if she's gonna go and different say I won't agree with that. Hmm. I might not even get a wife. Like Uncle Jake.